Hello my dear students from grade 6. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to our new video lesson. Lesson 13 One Area My dear students. Kindly pay your attention to the following instruction from the teacher. Instruction number 1. Study the video lesson very well. Instruction number 2. To complete your assignments as per the weekly plan log into your account on PearsonRealize.com. Alright. Before going, dear students, bring out your textbook, copy book, pen or pencil, and highlighter pen. Thank you. Let's have our review questions today. Question number one. Which value of Q does the expression 8 over Q have the greatest value? Again. Which value of Q does the expression 8 over Q have the greatest value? You have four choices. A. Q equal to 1 over 3. B. Q equal to 2 over 5. C. Q equal to 5 over 8 and D. Q equal to 1 over 7. What is your answer? Very good. The the correct answer is Q equal to 1 over 7. Because, let's consider all the choices, first choice Q equal to 1 over 3. When we divide 8 by 1 over 3 it will be 8 multiply 3 over 1. Which is equal to 24. If we consider choice B, Q equal to 2 over 5. Then, replace Q with 2 over 5 it will be 8 multiply 5 over 2, which is equal to 20. If we replace Q with 5 over 8, then it is equal to 8 multiply 8 over 5, equal to 12 and 4 over 5, next if we replace Q with 1 over 7 will be 8 divided by 1 over 7 equal to 8 multiply 7 over 1, equal to 56. Okay. From all these answers which is the greatest value? 56 good. So our answer is Q equal to 1 over 7. Now let us move to the next review question. Are you ready? Good. Our next review question is, Jack runs 3 miles in 27 minutes. At this constant rate how long will it take him to run 10 miles? Again, Jack runs 3 miles in 27 minutes. At this constant rate how long will it take him to run 10 miles? Very good. 90 miles. Let us solve this problem here. Kindly pay your attention here. Jack runs 3 miles in 27 minutes which means, he can run 1 mile in 9 minutes. How? Good. Divide 3 and 27 by 3 to get a unit rate. 1 mile in 9 minutes. So he can run 10 miles in 90 minutes. How? Multiply both terms in the unit rate 1 and 10 by 10. So the answer will be 10 miles in 90 minutes. Is that clear? Very good. Alright. Dear students, for more review questions, you need to log into your account on PearsonRealize.com. Take printout, try to find answers and keep the paper in your portfolio. Submit your work to the teacher later thank you. My dear students from grade 6, we have the following objective today. At the end of the lesson you will be able to use what you know about areas of rectangles to find the areas of parallelograms and ROM uses. Again, at the end of the lesson you will be able to use what you know about areas of rectangles to find the areas of parallelograms and ROM uses. My dear students. Let's start our today's lesson with, solve and share. 
our question is. Connect point A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. Then find the area of the shape and explain how you found it. Using the same grid, move points B and C four units to the right. Connect the points to make a new parallelogram A B C D, what is the area of this shape? Solve this problem any way you choose. Again. Connect point A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. Then find the area of the shape and explain how you found it. Using the same grid, move points B and C four units to the right. Connect the points to make a new parallelogram A B C D, what is the area of this shape? Solve this problem any way you choose. You can use structure by, ending relation a hip between rectangles and parallelograms. Very good. What shape you have get when you connected all the points as per our question? Good. It's a rectangle. Okay. What is the area of this rectangle? Excellent. 216 square units. Okay. How did you get the area of this rectangle? Yay, good. To find the length of this rectangle, Let's count the number of the grid units from B to C. How much is this? Good. 18 grid units. So to find the width of this rectangle, let's count the grid spaces from A to B. So the width is, 12 grid units. Good. Area of rectangle equals length multiply width. Which is equal to 18 multiply 12 equals 216 square units. All right. Let's do the other part our question now. Move points B and C four units to the right. What is our new shape? Good. It's a parallelogram. Now how to find the area of this parallelogram. Okay. For this, let's take a look at our new figure. We got two similar triangles at the left and the right. Good. Let's move the triangle at the right to the left side. What happens now? Very good. We got the previous rectangle. What does it mean? Good. It means, the area of the new parallelogram is the same for the previous rectangle. So what is the area of the parallelogram? Yay, it is also 216 square units. Good. Okay. Let's find the answer for look back now. How do you think you can find the area of any parallelogram? Again. How do you think you can find the area of any parallelogram? Very good. You can multiply the base and the height. Now let's watch a video on how can you use the formula for the area of a rectangle to find the area formula of a parallelogram. How can you use the formula for the area of a rectangle to find the area formula of a parallelogram? Think about this question during the lesson. Look at the parallelogram. If you move the triangle to the opposite side, you form a rectangle with the same area as the parallelogram. How can you find the formula to find the area of the parallelogram? To compose the rectangle, you first decompose the parallelogram into a triangle and a trapezoid. What is the formula for the area of a rectangle? The formula for the area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. How are rectangles and parallelograms similar? Both have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and the same length. The base of the parallelogram, B, 
equals the length of the rectangle, L. The height of the parallelogram, H, which is perpendicular to the base, equals the width of the rectangle, W. How do you know that the height of the parallelogram, H, is the same as the width of the rectangle, W? Both the height and width can be represented by the same line segment perpendicular to the base. The area of the parallelogram equals the area of the rectangle. How would you describe the formula for the area of a parallelogram in words? To find the area of a parallelogram, multiply the base by the height. Now you know how you can use the formula for the area of a rectangle to find the area formula of a parallelogram. All right, who knows the answer for convince me. What is the area of a parallelogram if the base, B, is 7 centimeters and the height, H, is 4.5 centimeters? Write an equation to show how you know. Again, what is the area of a parallel centimeters and the height, H, is 4.5 centimeters? Write an equation to show how you know. Very good. 31.5 centimeters, 7 multiply 4.5. Okay, dear students, let's turn to textbook page number 661 now. Let's discuss the answers for guided practice questions. Guided practice first part, do you understand? Question number one. Can combine a triangle and a trapezoid to parallelogram. If the area of the triangle is 12 square inches, and the area of the trapezoid is 24 square inches, what is the area of the parallelogram? Explain. Very good. 36 square inches. How do you know? Areas 12 square inches plus 24 square inches to get 36 square inches. Now question number 2. A parallelogram is 3 meters long and 7 meters high. Liam said that the area is greater than the area of a rectangle with the same dimensions, is he correct? He correct? Explain. Again, a parallelogram is 3 meters long and 7 meters high. Liam said that the area is greater than the area of a rectangle with the same dimensions, is he correct? Explain. Very good. No, and the rectangle are equal. Good. Now let's move to guided practice, second part, do you know? How? Read the direction, in 3 and 4, use a formula to find the area of each parallelogram or rhombus. What is the answer for question number good? It is, 430 square inches. Well, who got the answer for number 4? Excellent. Okay dear students, now let's move to independent practice on page number 661. Read the direction for the questions 5 to 7. In 5-7 find the area of each parallelogram or rhombus. Well, anyone got the answer for number 5? Very good. Base for the parallelogram is 2 yards long and it has an height of 6 yards. So the area equals B multiply H equals 2 multiply 6 equals 12 square yards. Good. Now let's watch video to remember how to find the area of a parallelogram or rhombus. Before we find the area of a parallelogram, we need to know the measure of its base and the measure of its height. This parallelogram has a base of 10 inches and a height of 6 inches. 
we can find the area of the parallelogram using the formula area equals base times height. Replace the b in the formula with 10. Replace the h in the formula with 6. Then multiply. 10 times 6 equals 60. Remember that area is expressed in square units. Label the area with square inches. The area of this parallelogram is 60 square inches. Let's find the area of another parallelogram, one that has four equal sides. We will find the area of a rhombus. This rhombus has a base of 8 meters and a height of 7 and 2 tenths meters. We can use the same formula, area equals base times height, to find its area. Replace the b in the formula with 8. Replace the h in the formula with 7 and 2 tenths. Then multiply. 8 times 7 and 2 tenths equals 57 and 6 tenths. Label the area with square meters. The area of this rhombus is 57 and 6 tenths square meters. All right. Dear students, now tell me, what are the answers for question number 6 and 7 of independent practice? Excellent. Number 6, 6 multiply 4. And number 7, 10, and 1 over 2 multiply 10 equals. Now, let's try to find solutions for some problem-solving questions. Dear students, turn to page number 662. Math Practices and Problem Solving. Let's make question number 8 and 9 together. Now, question num dog. What is the area of the parallelogram highlighted in the origami figure? What is your answer? Good. 9.44 square centimeter. Who knows how? Multiply base and height equals 4 centimeter multiply 2.36 or 4 square centimeter. Okay, now question number 9. A type of origami paper comes in 15 centimeters by 15 cm square sheets. Hillary uses two sheets to make the origami dog. What is the total area of the origami paper Hillary uses to mug? Again, a type of origami paper comes in 15 cm by 15 cm square sheets. Hillary uses two sheets to make the origami dog. What is the total area of the origami paper Hillary uses to make the dog? You got the answer. Find the area of one origami paper which is 15 times 15 equals 225 square centimeter. Now, 2 times 225 equals 450. So the total area is 450 square centimeter. Good. Dear students, let's make the answer for questions 10 and 11. Number 10, a 150-pound person can burn about 135 calories in 30 minutes playing table tennis. About how many calories would the same person burn playing table tennis for 1 hour and 20 minutes? Again, a 150-pound person can burn about 135 calories in 30 minutes playing table tennis. About how many calories would the same person burn playing table tennis for 1 hour and 20 minutes? Very good. About 360 calories. How did you get the answer? Good. Using unit rate. Okay, number 11, a rectangle and a parallelogram have the same base and the same height. How are their areas related? Provide an example to justify your answer. Again, a rectangle and a parallelogram have the same base and the same height. How are their areas related? Provide an example to justify your answer. Very good. The areas are equal. A rectangle has dimensions 7 feet by 9 feet, 
so its area is 7 times 9 equals 63 square feet. A parallelogram with a base of 7 feet and a height of 9 feet has an area equals b multiply h equals 7 times 9 equals 63 square feet. OK students, try the questions 12, 13a and d14 together. Number 12, the area of a parallelogram is 325 square feet. If the base of the parallelogram is 25 feet, what is its height? Very good. 13 feet. How? Good. We will divide 325 by 25. Now number 13, higher order thinking, the infield of a baseball diamond is shaped like a rhombus. The distance between each of the bases is 90 feet. An infield cover with dimensions of 85 feet by 100 feet is used to protect the field during rainy weather. Will the cover protect the entire infield? Explain. Again. The infield of a baseball diamond is shaped like a rhombus. The distance between each of the bases is 90 feet. An infield cover with dimensions of 85 feet by 100 feet is used to protect the field during rainy weather. Will the cover protect the entire infield? Explain. What is the answer? Excellent. No, the cover is not wide enough even though its area is greater than the area of the infield. How do you know? Length of the base could be more than 90 feet as its height is 90 feet. Also the base could be less than 94 and 4 over 9. Why? 85 multiply 100 equals 8500. So to estimate the base length, divide the area of cover, 8500 by 90 equals 94 and 4 over 9. So the area of the infield will be in between 8100 square feet and 8520 square feet. Which means, the area of the cover is not enough to cover whole the infield properly. Okay well, now tell me the answer for question number 14, the parking space shown at the right has an area of 171 square feet. A custom truck has rectangular dimensions of 13.5 feet by August 5th feet. Can the truck fit into the space? Justify your answer. Very good. The area of the truck is 13.5 x 8.5 equals 114.75 square feet. I can divide the area of the parking space by its height to find the missing dimension, 171 divided by 19 equals 9. The base dimension is 9 feet. The truck will fit in the parking space. Okay my dear students from grade 6. It is the end our video lesson. Try to make textbook homework, textbook page numbers, 663 to 664. I wish you all the best. Until the next video lesson.